Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 4th of June, the local media headlines today. Now, about a month ago, the government told local councils that they had to start keeping count of how much COVID-19 testing was going on in their care homes. The idea was to show everybody what a good job they were all doing. Well, the results are in. You might want to look away now. There are several thousand residents in Cornwall's 224 care homes. So far, only 23% of those homes have actually managed to access a test, and more than half are not paying their staff full wages if those staff have to isolate. Meanwhile at Health, the medics are warning that Cornwall is almost certainly in for another spike in coronavirus infections. At the same time, the extra government money that was made available for dealing with the coronavirus is now starting to run out. And Cornwall Reports looked at who went where in the division lobbies at Westminster on Tuesday in that vote over virtual voting. None of Cornwall's MPs rebelled against the government. Meanwhile, Devon and Cornwall Police have reminded would-be holidaymakers that they can't just get in their camper vans and head to Cornwall. Pirate FM was among the media to warn that overnight stays, second homes and holiday lets are all still against the government's rules. The Cornish Times told us how Wales and West workers are being encouraged to volunteer in their local communities. And finally, Cornwall Live said it's going to rain. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.